One man's passion is about to become someone's treasure. Ken Welch has spent the past several years creating a massive comic book collection that fills three rooms in the house. And this weekend, that Roseville man is putting it up for sale. WCCO's Jeff Wagner, Wagner learned why he loves the action-packed artwork and why he's ready to let go. Let me see. It, it's, yeah, it's a lot. There's comic book stores. This is the first appearance of Deadpool. And then there's Ken Welch's house. OCD at its finest. <laughs> a crazy, colorful collection. That's probably a whole box of signed comic books there. Of superheroes in their original form. First Spider-Man comic book. Enough to overflow three rooms. And being a single guy, I don't have a, a wife telling me I can't have a man cave on the first floor of the whole house. <laughs> Boxes of action-packed stories that Welch doesn't even read. I love artwork. Strictly art. Strictly the art. Instead, marveling at the detailed drawings that give the characters life. They're like Superman breaking the chains in the action comics. Of all the comic book boxes Welch has, this one is the most sentimental. It's the first box he had when he was just an 11-year-old boy, and his collection stayed this small until he had a boy of his own. He did an autograph and photo op with Stan Lee, and Stan Lee signed him both the, not only the picture, the original artwork for that his picture was on, but also the picture with my son. That was a very proud moment as a papa. His son's excitement reinvigorated his childhood passion. I was the parent that, so say no, said yes. <laughs> Leading to a collection of comics 20,000 strong. These are original pieces by Guy Gilchrist. Along with numerous paintings, pictures, and pieces of nostalgia. Are you ever it's overwhelmed? Extremely overwhelming. Extremely overwhelming. Especially when you consider what do you do with it? His decision is a bittersweet uh, one. It's time for them to move on to a, a new home and let somebody else enjoy them. From the comics collector's dream of owning. First appearance of Venom, has got a new movie coming out. To the Magic the Gathering cards he never even played. Oh, Everything is for sale. My daughter is a teen now. It's not so cool to bring her friends over to dad's man cave. The story of Welch's comic cachet is reaching its end. But don't count out a sequel. Hopefully my grandkids will be into it and I'll get to do it again. <laughs> Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. The sale started today and runs through Sunday. The location and times are attached to this story on WCCO.com. My goodness, that's got to be tough. Yeah. Wow, I used to love comic books. Did you? Yeah. They were awesome. Great yeah. fun. Yeah. Right.